uh, you are tuning to Omoili Radio 2.3 station, your ultimate connection to the world, uh, with your host tonight, Sam Olakle. Omoili Radio 2.3 station uh, is a broadcasting offshoot of Omoili International Resources Company Limited. Omoili Radio 2.3 station providing our listeners around the globe outlets uh, for creative skills and energies, serving the interest of a diverse group of listeners, Omoili Radio 2.3 station seeks to inspire, entertain, educate, promote, stimulate, and challenge listeners with a wide ranging music programming, local news, issues, and public affairs. You are tuning to Omoili Radio 2.3 station for this wonderful uh, program this evening. I am your old Sam Olakle. Ekabo, so you can hear me on radio 2.3 station. Ah, you can hear. Do you know your guru? Do you bobo? Ero, alatadba. Eh, ekabo. Let's hear. Shall I? If we to call it to call, it to patake. Eh, imi atu call it to. Nia shall I? Eh, imi no ni sa olakunle. Eje kama petu go. Nia shall I? Alay yo ni adbara ni no. Eh, ito patake lile i tinshiti. Ito national highlights and enlightenment of the. Uh, African George uh, National Conference 2024. Uh, welcome to this impactful and informative segment of the Omoili Radio 2.3 station tonight, especially for the African Church 5th Bahania and 118th National Conference highlights and enlightenment for the slated schedules. Tonight, uh, I'm right here with the Chairman Local Organizing um, Committee uh, for the African Church, um, 5th Bahania and um, 118th National Conference of the African Church. I have right here with me in the studio, I have the Chairman LOC, Local Organizing Committee. I have the Venerable Samuel Afolabi. Sir, you are most welcome on the program tonight. You're welcome, all this now. God bless you. I'm here for enlightenment and uh, give information as regards the field biennial and the 118 conference of the African Church. You're all blessed. Thank you, sir, my wonderful guest. Once again, once again, if you are just joining us, you can also be part of this program tonight. All you need, uh, all you need is to visit our website at www.omoilary.com and uh, connect with us as the chairman, local organizing uh, committee for the African Church, uh, Fifth Bahania, and One um, Eighteenth National Conference. Sir, I would like you to highlight and enlighten our listeners. What does the African Church National Conference aim to achieve in line with its formation? Thank you. God bless you. Um, as I've earlier said, that I'm Venerable Samuel Adebayo Fulabi, by the grace of God, yeah. uh, the chairman of LOC. Uh, the conference will be hosted by Lagos Mainland Diocese, that is, the premier diocese of the African Church. No, Lagos Mainland Diocese leads why others follows. So, um, the aim and all those things that we have in mind is that, you know, as an organization, there should be a time whereby we sit together and discuss about the progress of the uh, organization. We always look at where we are, where we are, and where we are coming from, and what we aim to achieve. So, the conference is where we gather and share ideas, deliberate on the progress of the church. That is our aim. Okay, that is our aim. Okay, that is beautiful. So, uh, coming together uh, based on the national conference is to deliberate about the way forward, about the development of the church. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Um, also, could you please uh, provide information on the conference dates? 
and um, where you when you expect members or delegates to arrive and the, by the grace of god the program will start on second may that is thursday okay. second may uh with a press conference so before the press conference we'll be having a visit a course visit to of uh, the Ojora of Ojora in the Jordan land and also from there we come for you know press conference it's going to be a world conference because the African church is a global church we have it all across the oh, three continents now we have it in the Europe we have it in the US okay so we have it in three continents so we are having a world conference after that uh, on Friday, on that Thursday also, we'll be having an opening service which we take off from uh, 4 p.m. And by the grace of God, the Governor of Lagos State, uh, His Excellency Mr. Babadide Sonwolu, will declare the conference open on Thursday. Okay. And on Friday, we'll start a plenary session. Everybody Every members are invited. It's a conference that we will of us have to come together and deliberate on the progress of the church. Okay, beautiful. So, like, when, when do you now expect, as the chairman local organizing committee, when do you expect all members? Is it all the all the members? Are you expecting the members or delegates? Let me take uh, we, we we have the delegate list as. You know, informed by the constitution of the church. Okay. We, we have the delegate list. And uh, in the host houses, uh, those that are around, they can come and see how it is being done, only that they will not be recognized as a member of a delegate. A delegate. But they are members of the church. Okay, okay. So that is to say, members of the African church are also uh, expected to be there. Yeah. To observe. Okay, okay, that is fine. So, like, uh, when do you now expect them to arrive for the conference? The day before or two days before? Um, since that, we'll be having the opening by 4 p.m. I'm sure that many of our people that will be coming from Interland or that will be coming from other, you know, regions like South South, like the Northerners, uh, they will have to be, to, they, they, they have to be as come as early as possible okay but they are all expected on thursday on thursday, thursday by 4 p.m by 4 p.m that's fine okay as the chairman local organizing committee what are all of the uh, provision uh that your committee uh also have in place in the aspect of um accommodation in the aspect of uh security in the aspect of uh, welfare and all other things what you know, what plans do you have in place? You know, in terms of um, accommodation, a list of hotels has been sent to our delegates. Uh, they are to choose uh, the hotel that they will wish to lodge in. Okay. And in terms of, you know, welfare, uh, we'll be taking good care of everyone. And I want to assure everyone that and with God, our security is guaranteed and also we will be having a lot of security personnel on ground at least to ensure the security of lives and property of delegates okay okay beautiful beautiful ah uh, that is fine yeah let's also uh let's quickly go on a short uh, music break uh my guest is here uh, uh right here uh, right here with me in the studio to for enlightenment uh, and highlight of the national conference. Keep listening to Omoli Radio 2.3 station. Yeah, I still have right here with me, I still have the venerable Samuel Afolabi right here with me. Um, sir, I want to ask, what inspired the theme of the African Church? Uh, National Conference year 2024. What inspired the theme? Um, you know, from the beginning of this year, we have been on spiritual exercise. Okay. Um, thanks to God, 
and the leadership of our present primate, who has taken the spirituality of the church, you know, very, very important. Um, with the theme that we shall ascend to the hero, mm -hmm. I think everybody who wants to, you know, we want progress. Yes. Everybody wants to get to the top, but there are conditions for, you know, you getting to the top. It's not meant for everybody. Mm -hmm. So what inspired us is that uh, we want the church to get to the top. Okay. Now, the, the, the team who shall ascend is now telling us the criteria. So all we just want to do is to consider the criteria of what and what we need to take the church forward because we are so sure that the church is moving higher. So who shall ascend is a question that we will have answer to when we listen to when when we come to listen to the private church. So mm -hmm. we have a private so charge on Friday. Friday. So it is something that we are going to look at and discuss very well. So the whole church will you know know understand all that is needed for us to move forward as a church. Okay, beautiful. Um, yes, as the chairman of uh, local organizing committee, I have this uh, question for you. Yes, uh, and I would like you to throw more light. What are the duties entrusted hmm, to your committee as the chairman of the local organizing committee in the course of the national conference? Thank you. Uh, the thing there is that uh, we are going to see to the modalities and everything that is needed to have a successful, you know, uh, conference. Number one, we to see to the security, see, making sure that all delegates are secured. Okay. We we'll see to their accommodation. Okay. Understanding that they don't get stranded. Uh, we look at their welfare that is they are feeding in most cases they are feeding and we look into their health wise so because there will also be a clinic that will be ready for the, a, a clinic will be there where people will come and have their you know check their health status free of charge okay and so we have, we have to make sure that uh, the church the african church as a whole has a very good successful you know conference so that is what we, are, we should do and that is uh, what your committee are uh, uh, have been entrusted to handle okay okay that is fine uh, if you keep it in uh, you know only my brother oh baba wa te timbo eh lori kan ni omo ile re radio 2.3 oni oh alaga alaga ibimo ibimo funti african church fifth bahenia uh, and one 18th national conference of the african church I want to know the uh, the venerable Samuel Afolabi. Baba uh, Baba Lori to ni a shale yi lori kono mo le radio two point three. Lati tomole si a won kanti ane lati mo ni baradi forty national conference yi ni iti yo pere pala bara lo lo ni o jokeji o shukaro o dunti awayi bede ni watin she inyo no no. What in Tom Oles, I won't cock on, and what in Tom Oles. Yes, you can also be part of this uh, wonderful uh, program tonight. All you need to do, once again, is to connect, visit our website at www.omoilary.com and click listen here uh, and get connected with us. Hey, sir, I want to ask you earlier mentioned that uh, in the course of this conference, there will be a courtesy visit to. Okay. Uh, is he only the Kabi or all other uh, real fathers in Lagos? And what brought about the cutting visit in the course of the conference? What relationship does that has to do? Oh, thank you, sir. You see, it's just a way of paying homage to the you know landowner and everywhere else. Okay, themselves. okay, sir. Let me get you. Does it mean the Lagos mainland? That is belongs to Ojora. No, you know, Lagos mainland we are so vast. We have it in Itire, we have it uh, in Iba, we have it. <laughs> so uh, we just picked one and okay. we just you know, for the world of Lagos we, we 
they have a church. Okay. So we just pick, and most especially because it's very close to us as well. Okay. So we look at the, looking at the con logistic logistics and the traffic uh, condition of Lagos State. Okay. We have to go for where we believe that it's not be so far from us. And they can get it done. Okay. They have to come back home. Okay, that is fine. That is fine, beautiful. Okay, I I want to ask this. Uh, does the national conference of the African Church involve the appointment of new management officers to steer the ship of the church for greater effectiveness? Yes, by the grace of God, you know uh, we have been, you know we, we have been controlled or guided by the constitution, which says by every six years there will be a change of pattern. And I'll be doing that this year as well, by God's grace. Okay, definitely there will be uh, appointment of uh, new management officers of the church. That is beautiful. Okay, if yes, if the answer is yes, what are the conditions for voting, which includes the individual's right to vote and being voted for? Um, the condition is stated clearly in the constitution. You know, not everybody will, you know, get involved in, you know, voting, but anybody can be voted for in as much as he has met with the, you know, constitutional right and the agreement of the church. So, uh, the, the, the thing there that anyone that will be voted for has to be so that is God-fearing, so that has been in the church, and the place that we all believe that will move the church forward. Okay, okay, we'll move the church forward. Okay, um... I want to also ask this. Uh, in the aspect of the appointment of new management officers, uh, does your committee has anything to you know do about that? No, there will be an editorial officer that will do that. What we just have to do is to provide a an enabling environment for a peaceful and conducive, you know, conference. So it does do with election doesn't not concern us as the local organizing uh, committee. We just mm -hmm. have to provide everything that is needed for them to you know have it. See, the conference can be anything for let's forget about that. We have an election this year. The conference can be without election. So all we okay. have to do is okay. to make sure that everything is set for the conference for a successful conference so that's what we need to do okay okay that is fine okay that is fine that you have to ensure that uh everything's uh everything is in order is in order is in order okay that is fine you are listening to omoy little radio 2.3 station uh some of the interests of the diverse group of listeners and i have right here uh with me i have the chairman uh, of the local organizing committee, I have the Venerable Samuel uh, Afolabi. He's here to highlight and enlighten um, every member of the African Church and uh, delegate, yes, what we need to know in line with the uh, general conference of the African Church. Sir, I want to ask, what are some of the uh, achievements that uh, you can, you know, make reference to uh, in the past years before the future Pioneer Conference. What are some of the achievements of the church you can, you know, know? Um, I think the, the church has been experiencing a vast, you know, change. Uh, I, I can't but mention the uh, the one that, you know, Chief Okuno, when he was the you know, the president, all that he did. You know, we have a land in the quarry. We started, you know, the mass unit, 18 mass unit. Then, you know, upgrading the schools that we have. And to the glory of God, you know, what the present management are doing is so fantastic. You go to the African church, kind of theology, you see a very a magnificent building built, you know, for the glory of God. And if you go to our new secretariat, the church is having a very good in you know, abbreviating edifice for you know uh, the purpose of the American Church Secretary, which was even given as well. 
So the church is moving from assessment based church to investment driven church. Mm. So it is not necessary that except those people pay assessment. So we we believe in that. Even this year, uh, the 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 the, the, the president said that fifty percent is off for the assessment for all churches, all dances, all provinces rather. Wow. So fifty percent. So we are not the church is not relying on you know taxing people as regards assessment. So we are they are, they are getting out of you know expecting church to give to them, the churches to give to them. Because the place have to come from the above. Mm. This assessment, assessment comes from the floor below. You know, and before it traveled up, you know, it will be it will be a kind of street or something. But now the church is moving from you know getting it from the below, but now from the top down, oh, so wow. everybody will enjoy. And I know they have really done well. Mm. They have really done well. They have really done well. Mm. Really done well. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I see our friends here with me. I see have my guests on the program for the. African Church, uh, any conference uh, uh, at the Variable Summer for Labi, the local organizing committee. Let's go on the music break. Go nowhere, keep listening to Omoili Radio 2.3 station. The best, best, best music. Whatever we have today, uh, let's just give God the glory. It's just by chance, it's just by grace. Grace, nothing will bring calm and nothing will go carry go. Nothing will bring calm and nothing will carry go. If you are still listening to Omoile Radio 2.3 station, uh, I want you to also know Omoile Radio 2.3 station uh, so aim at promoting the talent of our youth in the Christendom. It's a wonderful platform whereby you can showcase, you can exhibit your divine gift talent. All you need to do is to contact uh, Omoili Radio Station and let's see how we can support your talent, how we can support your vision. Yes, how we can support your vision and your talent. And, and also Omoili Radio 2.3 Station uh, creates a better everyday life for the many people, for the listeners. And also Hamad to be uh, a radio station that inspires and fulfills your curiosity. I see I have right here with me in the studio. I have the chairman, uh, local organizing committee for highlight and enlightenment of the National Conference of the African Church Year 2024. Sir, I want to ask, what are the criteria for appointing new management officers Ever since uh, conference of the African Church also involved that, so what are the criteria? Uh, the I think the criteria is it should be a God friendly person. God friendly person. And the the Church of God is a spiritual entity, and the level of spirituality should be considered. So you don't give what you don't have. You can't give what you don't have. And if you look at the scripture, as a which is our basis. Or, you know, believe uh, in in uh, choosing leaders. A lot of people that have filled this with God, people that believe in the in the word of God, and people that we know that they will move the church forward. And that's all we just have to okay. okay. That is the, because the church we should not oh, put aside the fact that the church is a spiritual entity. I want you to also. Uh, shed more light. Among the delegates, is there provision for uh, the ACYA, the TASEF, 
the Women's League of the African Church to also be part of these expected delegates. Okay, that is um, provision for them. You know, the, uh, the African Church so much believe in the in the youth. So as a result, we have them even in the primate advisory. Okay. You know, they're, 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 they're part of it. So um, we, we, we have now with 10 delegates from ACYA, there will be 10 delegates from TASF, okay. there will be 10 delegates from Women's League. And also with so, with so much loss our youth as well, uh, there will be one delegate at least, one delegate, one delegate from each province that has to come from last and lastest. Last and last brigade. Yes, yes. So we yes. have one from each province. So if we have 10 provinces, it means we have 10 of them. If you have 12 provinces, you have 12 of them. Okay. Which, uh, which comprises of uh, all over? All over. Uh, all over. Each province will provide one. One. One delegate to represent uh, the last and last brigade. The last and last brigade. Okay. For the interest of our listeners that are just joining us, can you just try to recap the, the the conference, the conference schedules as earlier mentioned. Thank you, sir. By the grace of God, the conference will commence on Thursday, 2nd of May. Uh, by 11 a.m., we'll be going to Ojora, Ojora's Palace. Uh, and by 2 p.m., we'll be at the venue in the African Church Name Cathedral for come for press conference by 4 p.m. on that Thursday we will have an opening service where the governor of Lagos State His Excellency Mr. Baba Jide Somolu will declare the conference open and uh, by Friday we will be having a plenary section when uh, the private charge will be considered and uh, on Saturday there will be also, you know, plenary after we should have the dissolution of the house to elect new uh, executive management of the church. Okay. And on Sunday, of course, we have, we have to give thanks to God okay. for a successful, you know, program. We have to thank God. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. My guest is still right here with me. Yeah. Uh, before we go further, let's also have a, a music break. A music break. Uh, keep listening to All My Little Radio 2.3 uh, Station and go nowhere. We are still on the program. The best, best music. <laughs> forward to any other distinguished personalities being present at the conference uh, by the grace of god uh, uh the african church has been the church of personality hmm. <laughs> because it is the first indigenous church in nigeria you know since 1901 so it is a church that believe in uh in in uh, african identity Okay. And the best uh, with people around us. So we are having personalities like uh, the the over of a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, countries. Okay. Uh, we we written and uh, we expecting uh, the chairman local government, local government and local government. Okay. Uh, among other distinguished, uh, we will be have in the spiritual setting. We will be we will be expecting. The can chairman of Lagos State. Wow. Uh, we will be expecting the can chairman of Christian Council of Nigeria, Lagos State. We will also be expecting uh, the bishops uh, of Lagos mainland diocese, that is in the Mutemeta and the, the Anglican. Okay. You know, okay. We have a relationship with the African and the Anglican. 
The ecumenism is very strong. Okay. So the ecumenical tie is very strong. So uh, we'll be having uh, the bishops of the gospel and the Anglican thousands and also the bishop of Peterson's Church in Nigeria, Peterson's Church in Nigeria in uh, Lagos men and also. But I also will be expecting our patrons and grand patrons and grand patrons. We expect immediate people. As I've said earlier, governor, someone will be there. And also will be having uh, the place of the federal representative as well. Oh, that is a beautiful. That's a beautiful. That's wonderful. All right. Yeah. I see I've right here with me uh, the Venerable Samuel uh, for Labi. Uh, the German Local Organizing Committee for the African Church 5th Bahamian and um, 118th National Conference uh, of the African Church uh, is still right here in the studio for highlights and enlightenment of the slated uh, schedules for the, for the event. Okay, before we round off the program and uh, this uh, special segment, uh, with you. Uh, what are your words of advice to or encouragement to uh, every member of the African Church and also to the expected delegate? Uh, we have an anchor, an anchor words, anchor statement, which is most attain accent to the ill. So my word of encouragement is that we should all keep ourselves holy. We should all, you know, be prayerful and uh, be more spiritual than physical when it comes to the things of, of God. Because the Church of God is a spiritual entity. So uh, we should pray, we should even fast for the Church, that the Church will go forward. No, we are the temple of God, but that notwithstanding, we should know that wherever we gather as a member of a Church, uh, personality determines how big or important the church is. Yeah, thank you by the grace of God. Yes, I have a message here uh, from uh, Mr. Shola uh, saying that, uh, yes, my name is Shola from Abelkuta. Please, I want to ask our guests, where uh, is the African church today? Where, wh what is the stand of the church today? Okay, yes, yeah, this person is sending a message to ask you that. Uh, I don't know if you have answer to that. <laughs> the theoretical just stand for God. Uh, I think um, among uh, peers, among our colleagues, the African church uh, has, has been playing a leadership role. Uh, when you look at the CCM today, the Southwest Chairman for Christian Council of Nigeria is a member of the African church, a clergy of the African church, the Red Reverend. Okunola, and we, we have some of our bishops that are chairman of, you know, local government can. We have um, the, right, the most reverend Dr. Kala Dokubo, okay. the chairman of River State can. We have uh, Edurumu, our secretary in uh, Wari, okay. uh, in Delta State. We have so African church has, has been, you know, you know, raising their head up in terms of challenges. Mm. And uh, I, I'm sure that even our members are not, you know, someone to push aside. You know, today we have the African Church Anglican Communion, where we talk together, we, we know. There's, there, there's nothing that is going on in Nigeria today that you will not even find African Church today. Mm. Like uh, the federal government, uh, the, the government of his Excellency, the President today, Ashwani we have our, we have our bishop there, our archbishop there. Hmm. So today, uh, the, the, the archbishop that has been assigned, one of the people that have been assigned to deal with, uh, you know, causes him and other things in the institution, we have our minister there. Okay. That is the most reverend, Dr. Peter Okay. So in the African church, I think, uh, we may not, we may say we have not been there, but at least we are not fed out. Mm. We are not fed out. Yes, I have another message from uh, Tulu Lokwe. Uh, he said, please, I want to ask our guests that uh, is there no conflict resolution organ? <laughs> let me let me say okay. Is that is that please? I want to ask. Okay, sorry, sorry. Is that 
Is there conflict resolution organ uh, for the church? Yes, we, we, have, we have the peace committee. Okay, we have the peace committee, and they have been doing their work. Okay, okay. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't know the reason why this person is asking this. We have, we, we, we have, we have KBC, all our patrons, all our leaders. Our, our, our church is a church of love. Mm -hmm. Our church, you, see, you can only see a church that we are in Africa today, in Nigeria today, that we can, you know, have attained such, you know, years mm -hmm. with peaceful transition. Transition. Mm -hmm. From one private to the other, mm -hmm. and from one private to the other, and yet we are still one, indivisible. Mm -hmm. I, I know. <laughs> so we have, the, we, we have the organ, we have the organ, that mm -hmm. um, God has been so, you know, faithful to us. Before we call it a day on the program with my guest, so, what do you have, uh, still have to share with our, our listeners out there? Okay, I, I just want to encourage all African church, all members of African church, to believe in our church. Uh, there's no other place like, you know, our own, the African church. So, we should believe in our church, we should believe in God. The God has been doing well, wonders in the African church. So we should believe in it. And also I want to thank the management, the present management of the African Church, ably led by the private or the primates. And um, the primates, um, His Eminence, Julius Alayika, Oshayani Abe, and uh, the late present as well, uh, Engineer Baba Tude, Adewale, Otofua, and all that, the Deputy Lee, the Chancellor, uh, all the members of the management for that wonderful thing they have been doing. We are so proud of them. And also, I want to appreciate every members of uh, Lagos Mainland Diocese, all our patrons, from uh, His Grace, the Most Reverend Julius Oludo to Ogunsheye, to our Vice the, the uh, Prince Adekule. Adeolu Jai Simi, all our patrons, our patrons, and all members of cathedrals and every uh, adjectives in our church because they have been doing well. They've contributed well to make sure that uh, our church have a successful, you know, conference. Uh, I cannot also but appreciate uh, our grand patron, Sir Dr. Adebutu Kesintin, also for, for his good work for, you know, for the church of God. So, and also, uh, I, I want to appreciate uh, this platform, this, this wonderful platform, Omo Ideri Radio 2.3. Uh, that is your ultimate connection to the world. So, I, I, I want to thank you for this good work. You should keep the flag, you know, flying. What I'm seeing is, I'm seeing, seeing you beyond, you know, where we are. And God will surely do it. So, because you, you have provided for us the platform where the word of God and the things of God will be showcased. So, I, I, I know, is uh, I give this to you uh, as uh, Samuel did to, you know, as uh, Samuel did to King uh, David then, you know, in the corner, he anointed him. And as time goes on, the glory of God showed really in his life. And I believe that. This name of Moi Leary will surely get to his destination, his aim, hide in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let us all, I encourage us that we should all be part of Omoy Leary. Omoy Leary means in, your, in English, it means a child of promise. And whatever God has, you know, or promised you will surely come to pass. Amen. So let us believe in it and let us you know, be part of it. And I believe that every uh, everything that God has promised us will surely come to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. So, Moleri, I really love you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for being on Omoleri Radio to point station for uh, highlight and uh, highlight of the program for the uh, of the conference and uh, the enlightenment. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. May God Almighty continue to bless your ministry and uh, a wonderful thank you to everyone for being part of this uh, special segment. 
once again. Just save the date and save the time. Yeah, the African Church, 5th Bahania, uh, and 118th National Conference is a must for everyone to, to be there. Uh, kudos to you, sir, and the, the entire committee for this uh, wonderful job. At the Nobi people, of you your African Church could be by Eh, if you go Here we call it uh, a day for this uh, special segment. Keep listening to Omoili Radio 2.3 station. Arakoni, Ojokon, Arakon, Ojotutu, Aratutu, Omoili Radio, Kulafi Way, Omoili Radio, Radio 2.3, Kuselebe, Ekbabe. Omo Lady Radio 2.3. Tofi Yato. Only we pay him. Cherry Lee. Tell Batty with a Lati. A Wombi. Be Lossi. Eh, Unisha. Be Lossi Calaba. Be Lossi Uzo. Be we be keep it a barrel. O Leo Magolo. O Toko Kufuni. We pay him any a par bargain. By the way, I didn't know what to. A do not to repay. O tell fee charge. A gapple loss in Okini. Tell a battery. Okay, but my bagroom, my Yini or on your duty meal, and your mock good it, but don't forget God. Enjoy your life, but don't forget that heaven is the ultimate. God bless you. Oru Komini, Ate Kule Ate Oluja Isimi, the Honorable Vice Lee President, the Gospel Land House, is the African Church. And Oru Komini, 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 Eh eh loruko Jesu Amade Ibiti Akunola tide eyi ni oye ti le president African Church eh Olorun ti fun tesi pe awo studio ni ojo oni ko de si eda to le yi pada ni oruko Jesu Ayo ma mi ya ga wa ni wa ni ena aye ma to le si mi ti to pada ele ga mi e bo e be ye once again, it's Olu Toyin, or Desheye. I'm on here on set at Omo Ileri 2.3. Emma Gwadu, Emma Gwolo, Emma Ju, Emma Yo, Emma Wama Julo, Emma Wama Gwadu, Emma Miliki, Emma Miliki, Emma Gwadu, Eshe Mudupe. Thank you. Omo Ileri OITV. Every TV, 